Now this is a freehold into terrace right in the heart of Siglap. Procton Runs is at District 15. Today we're heading into this new reconstructed landed property right at Burnfoot Terrace. This is going to be completed in the first quarter of 2022, so right about in time for the brand new year ahead for you and your family. Four property members are now landed home to it. Let's go. Alright, so this property has not reached its TOP yet and uh, you might be wondering, hey Melvin, why is there like all this like construction stuff going on right here? Because the TOP is slated, estimated to be the first quarter of 2022 right now at the point of filming when the last quarter of 2021. I think it's going to be fantastic for you, especially if you're looking for a brand new freehold inter terrace right here within the Siglap zoning. A bit of brief backdrop is that our owners actually built this for their own family usage, for their own stay. So when they designed the place round of their architect and builder, the entire design was reverse engineered to suit family with children, a family with kids, to have that very nice open concept livable space plant into living dining especially for all the bedrooms right upstairs as well. The change of plans happened because there was a preference in terms of the school choice for their kids and thus they have decided to put this up in the market and then switch on to another location. So this place was built with seven bedrooms in mind. You have one huge granny room right downstairs. Second floor gives you three huge bedrooms including your master. Third floor, another three huge bedrooms. All in all, you have five bathrooms right within this home. So it's a seven bed, five bath spread over two and a half story. So the land size of this home is 1,957 square feet, built up is 3,457 square feet. On top of the very usual six meters width for inter terraces, this is at seven meters. So that gives you the luxury and the ability to park two full-size cars. If you have two full-size SUV, you can park side by side right here. So the sliding gate is a very nice feature because you can slot in your two cars very easily. There are no pillars right on within the seven meters bandwidth within the car port area. It's half sheltered with your level 2 balcony that is uh, spreading out from your master room. Over here, you get to enjoy natural brightness and sunlight. Now, this is predominantly a north-south orientation. At the front, is the north-northwest, back is south-southeast kind of orientation. You don't get any direct afternoon sun. So what you're going to get is that you're going to get a huge living area here. In order to help you to visualize, we have thrown in all the renderings that we generate for you. Notice that there's also no pillars in between the entire living zone. So you can put in and throw in a huge L-shaped corner couch and have your TV console right on this direction. So you also have a four panel sliding glass door that brings in brightness into your entire living dining space as well as a side entrance main door. As you walk towards this area, this is the stairway zone. Now this is done very nicely in the sense that it's a combining the entire kitchen together that's tucked along towards this direction, fronting towards your 8 or 10 seater dining space. And most importantly, when you're cooking right here, this is where the skylight natural brightness comes in and you can look upwards, that goes up towards level 2 and attic level. We love this space because this is the design granny room with its own AC unit. Currently, it's being done in a more open concept style with a sliding panel glass door. So the granny room is designed in a way that you can actually knock down this hollow block wall because the window is right opening towards the back of the house. So if you need a full-on granny room, you can do that alteration. Now, if you notice, whichever part that you stand in, you can see where your kids are including the glass panel that's permeating the entire space that leads on from a staircase to level 2. So it's really to give you that nice visual alignment from every part of the home right on level 1 because that is what space is all about. Let's have a look at the kitchen space. There's this separation of countertop. This is more like a dry kitchen top with loads of storage space at the bottom. You also have storage right here in this direction. Bosch oven and microwave right here. Top storage as well. Loads of storage along this entire kitchen space. Fridge space, two door fridge. Secondary sink right here and of course your dish rack. So there are two sinks. One is basically for dry kitchen top and then the other one is really for heavy duty washing. So this is also the place to put in your dishwasher. Level has two bathrooms. So the bathrooms are all shower bathrooms with WC and they are all side by side. So basically fantastic for multi-generation living as well. This is like the yard area 
The corner is designated for your washer come dryer. This is your storeroom for level one. You are going to extend the granny room outwards with its own window. You can seal up this portion right here. You still have a secondary storeroom right below your staircase. When we head back towards the front, this is where your secondary storeroom is uh, on level 1. You still have two full-size storage rooms right around level 2 and 3. So we love the cassette aircon that has been done on the living and dining space because this is a new version, circular version, where airflow evenly blows out throughout the entire living and dining space. Let's talk a little bit about this locale. Now, Burnford Terrace is a beautiful street because this is a street that is facing towards the Siglap Lander and Clay. Yet at the same time, the back row has no immediate neighbours. There's going to be a nice segregation at the back towards the shop houses. And shop houses right there, you have loads of eateries including coffee shop that's going to be local delights right there and a very famous uh, Mee Pop along the intersection of Upper East Coast Road with Jalan Tua Kong. Right along this entire intersection right here, you also have Siglap Centre, you have Axis at Siglap. Below them, there's Cool Storage right across supermarket as well. You're living along a little bit like the Holland Village of the East and it's not a dense neighbourhood because predominantly, if you look at the entire landscape, this part of Siglap, they are all many landed properties. The high-rise properties belong to the Marine Parade site along the sea line. Then you walk along the Siglap Linear Park. That's going to bring you towards the entrance of Siglap MRT Station. That takes you perhaps about 12 to 13 minutes walk. Thompson East Coast Line that links you all the way from the entire East Bandwidth towards MBS, Orchard Boulevard, and right across upwards towards Thompson and towards the north. This is going to connect the entire East. And very suitable if you need seven bedrooms, we're going to explore upstairs and uh, let's head on. Because this is still under construction, this was a full-on recon that's being done by the owners. When they designed a the home, they wanted this beautiful skylight right at the top that permeates the brightness because the lights are not installed. Right now, of course, it's uh, 11 a.m. You have full-on brightness right here. Uh, when you come to level 2, carpentry has been done at this portion. This is a fantastic bookcase. You can put all your books right here for your kids. Flooring wise, vinyl flooring throughout. Let me show you the bedroom at the back first that's facing towards the shop houses. Now, this is the row of shop houses facing towards the main Upper East Coast Road. Room size done in a very decent fashion, full high panel windows openable on the middle portion, left and right, uh, not openable, uh, giving you that full length that you want. This is a Jack and Jill towards uh, the bathroom on level 2. Very seldom do we see storerooms being designed on every level. This is a full-on storeroom. DB box is kept nicely right inside, so you can put in your storage on level 2. Sorry, it's going to rain. <laughs> I better bring you to the balcony on level 2 first. We like the metal finishing right here because that gives it a very nice framing across the entire home. So it's pretty consistent in terms of the nice black framing finishing across the siding panel doors. The slight privacy screen as well. This is done very nicely from a neighbour. You can do your morning yoga right here. You can put in some nice outdoor furnitures right here. And of course, once it's reached its CSC, you can install your awning as well. And this is a great space for you with full on privacy because on the left and right hand side, your neighbours can't look in towards this direction. So this is a room which I think will be fantastic for your kids' room because it's a shared balcony towards your master. Let's put in the rendering right here to show how it looks like. You can put in your wardrobe right towards this direction and then your bed or double decker as well for your kids. And then when you come towards your master, this master is super long. It's almost the entire 26 meters depth of the home. Almost there already, a minus of your car porch area. Now the master is great in size. You can put in your king bed right here. When you come in towards this direction, this entire length is for your walk-in wardrobe. Your walk-in wardrobe has its own AC unit. Right across me, a full row of wardrobe space. On this portion, you can put in a full row as well. But if you don't need big wardrobe space, what you can do is that you can keep your wardrobe space along this entire row and use the opposite row as like a home office unit. So you can put in a nice work from home table that combines your dresser unit with maybe your work office zoning. When you come in, your marathon suite is huge. Long bath area, standing shower, his and her sink. They're putting in coiler sinks as well. I'm gonna bring you to level three.
when you come up to level 3, this level is designed with 3 huge bedrooms, 1 bathroom that is commonly shared. So this is the huge common bathroom right towards the back at the corner. This is the area where all the aircon compressors are being stored nicely towards this level. And you have also this storeroom here on level 3 with a ventilation window as well. Two of the bedrooms are kept combined to give you that flexibility. So if you want to have three full-on bedrooms, all you need to do is just to install the partition wall right here because the aircon units are already pre-designed for you with its own light points and everything. But now, our owners have kept it open. So this is designed to be like a full-on family area. Entertainment, cinema zoning right here, in-home cinema area. And then this is like the area for you to put in your pool table, board game set, or you can build a full-on library right here. Or it can be your entire study zone for your kids. Full-on library right along the walls. Central table right here for your computer desk. So this is a fantastic place. If you have a lot of family members, multi-gen family, then you can reconvert this sliding panel door into a full-on wall with its own door. You can reinstate back to like three full-on bedrooms. This is the fifth bedroom, also linked to the sixth bedroom. So this also looks on towards the Sigurd Landed Estate. Very nice balance in terms of outdoor and indoors. We love the privacy also on level 3. So if you notice on the left and right hand side, full on walls as well. So you don't really have that look through from the neighbors at home, giving each other that privacy that you want. All you need to do when you come in is to put in your lights based on your own preferences, put in your blinds, your curtains. And the last thing is to put in your wardrobes within the bedrooms. So just these three things and you're ready to move in straight on. It's time now to head back to our PRB studio where we talk about the pricing analysis. Let's go. So welcome back to our PRB studio. Hope you enjoyed the tour so far at Burnfoot Terrace. Let's talk about the schools within a kilometre. So for primary schools within one kilometre's radius, we have Neon Primary, Opera Estate Primary, St. Stephen School. As we extend towards the two kilometres range, that'll be Taunan as well as CHIJ Katong. If we talk about secondary school in close proximity, that'll be Victoria, St. Patrick's as well as CHIJ Katong. So it's also very easy for your kids to come back. Uh, they can just take straight bus back towards the main Upper East Coast Road. Something is also very interesting within the entire master plan of the D15 Enclave. If we just move down one station along the future Thompson East Coast line, the entire Bayshore precinct is undergoing major transformation because not only does the Bayshore MRT going to be the main pivot for that particular zoning if we look at the amount of housing being planned right there along the entire Bayshore belt there's going to be future housing and future demand because there's going to be a mixture of public housing apartments condominiums and in future if any of the families would like to upgrade from maybe the HDB apartments or maybe their private condominiums towards the landed properties into the D15 or Siglap area because Siglap is just parked right beside Bayshore. I think your Burnfoot Terrace landed might be one of the key options for them as well. Now right now in the D15 zoning, uh, I'm going to make the price range right here for you so that you can uh, actually do some comparisons and your homework and research before you select a landed home for your family. So first time are usually those type that are above 30, 35 years old or maybe even 40 years old. Meant to be rebuilt, predominantly single story right now, one and a half or maybe at max two story. Right now, if you want to buy any old landed properties that you want to tear down and rebuild, they are going at the range of close to about three and a half million dollars. And then if you move to the second type, it needs to undergo an A and A plus spending close to about eight hundred thousand to a million dollars. Just take note that A and A is usually about 70% of the overall recon or maybe rebuild costing. So let's say if you are hunting for an AAA suitable type of land, now it's going in the range of close to about $4 million. So if you add back the AA costing, it will inch you upwards towards the close range of about $5 million. Just take note that when you do an AA, there's a minimum amount that you need to retain. So there's only a certain percentage that you can do in terms of addition and alteration. So the overall structure will still be about the same. It just it has underwent an addition of space in terms of building area as well as alterations in terms of maybe some of the pillars and things like that. When you look at the third type, which are usually the type of landed homes that are less than 15 years old, these are the newer versions that you can perhaps pump in about three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars to do a full-on renovation. Right now, this type are undergoing at about four and a half million dollars range around the Siglap and Cliff. And thus, if you pump in three to five hundred, that'll bring you close to about five million dollars. 
And then the fourth type will be the brand new, brand new type that developers are looking at. They are all inching in the range of about five to five and a half million dollars, depending on the land size. So this particular lander has just underwent a full on reconstruction, which is going to TOP in the first quarter of 2022. You're going to get a brand new home with full on seven bedrooms. And this is very suitable because it falls into the fourth category that has just underwent a rebuild or reconstruction. And the land is not the typical range that we're looking at. It's close to 2,000 square feet. Asking price, $5.8 million negotiable. And we think that in terms of its locale, the land size and the ability to have seven bedrooms with two parking, this is very suitable for multi-gen living. So if you're looking for something that you don't want to spend time to rebuild, this is going to be something that will be very suitable for your family. Now let's head back to the home. All right, so we hope that you enjoyed the pricing analysis as well as the landed trend analysis that uh, we filmed in our PRB studio. So if you want to have a look at this home, give a call to our listing managers. The numbers are all right down below. This one is perfect if you're hunting for the D15 address, freehold status. My name is Melvin Lim. Thanks for staying with us throughout the entire Lander Home Tour. If you want to have a look at this place, give a call to us and we're very happy to show the place. Meantime, take care. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Same here. Focus. Okay, huh? Okay, I'm home. Need some bait. Okay. <clears throat> so, now this is a. Okay, sorry, this is. Ah, sorry, it's just me. Okay, huh? Ready? Go. All right, so this property has not reached its. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ready?